an extraordinary evening today. To you, Mr. Hancock, I should say welcome back to our House of Cultures in dialogue. I say welcome back because you're known here at UNESCO. You're a long-time friend of UNESCO. So, dear Herbie, this message goes for your music. It is the same message you have brought to all parts of your life. This inspired you also to found the International Committee of Artists for Peace, along with Dr. Daiseko Ikeda and others. The International Committee brings together dedicated artists from around the world with the goal to establish peace and develop peacemakers through the transformative power of art. What a wonderful message for all of us here at UNESCO. Our house is exactly about that. The committee teaches and educates young people. It works in schools and it holds seminars and concerts. All of this to reconnect people with their humanity and to create a movement for peace, for culture and for education. So, dear Herbie, you have shown art to be a powerful universal language linking peoples and cultures. Ladies and gentlemen, in recognition of his outstanding contribution to these goals, I am honored to designate Mr. Kirby Hancock as UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador for the promotion of intercultural dialogue. This designation pays tribute to a passion that has changed music as we know it. This designation recognizes a deep commitment to promoting peace through dialogue, culture, and the arts. In accepting these responsibilities, dear Herbie Hancock, you join Nelson Mandela, Frank Etienne, and many others, including Forrest Whitaker, Esther Coopersmith, and Laura Bush from the United States, all working with UNESCO for peace, education, sustainable development, inclusive and just societies. They all work for human dignity. I wish you every success in your new mission. I thank you again for sharing your talent with us. And now I have the pleasure of presenting you with a certificate, if I could invite you. It is a great privilege for me to be here with all of you this evening. Now, when I first learned that UNESCO was going to bestow upon me the honor of Goodwill Ambassador, I was immediately inspired on so many levels. Now, my, my mind literally raced with possibilities. Recognizing the gravity and magnitude of my appointment and realizing that my previous experiences and future contributions could encourage the enrichment of our communal existence and help establish a more peaceful and vibrant society of like-minded individuals was positively overwhelming. And also so very gratifying because I really make a conscious effort to embrace the ideology and ethos of UNESCO on a daily basis either through my music, my work mentoring young students throughout the world, my faith in and practice of Buddhism, or as an international advocate for peace. I can't imagine a world without music, without dance, without art, film, theater, without books. I mean, that would be very dreary, bland, and colorless existence with little cooperation and communication among its citizens. The arts are the glue that hold us together. The cultural fabric of our lives. And they sow the seeds for collective inventive, youth universally shared experiences. And we all know that a creative mind can pretty much solve anything. 
which is a very important skill in today's challenging times. It reminds me of a parable spoken by Nietzsche and Daishonin, the 13th century monk, and uh, the founder of the religion that I practice. And it's from one of his letters called The Proof of the Lotus Sutra, which says, a person who has fallen to the ground uses the ground to get back up again. We face considerable problems and innumerable challenges in today's world. And it's all too easy to lose faith and the confidence we need to emerge victorious. However, we must capitalize on our weaknesses and use them as a springboard to get back up again, to become stronger and more humane. Through my work as chairman of the Thelonious Monk Institute of Jazz, I visited many, many countries as a teacher, an emissary, and a musician. And for the past 50 years, I performed in over 40 nations, spanning six continents. So I've had ample opportunities to see dramatic transformations take root and, and flourish. As part of my UNESCO mission, I would like to explore all possibilities to make an International Day of Jazz a reality because it would foster and strengthen communication and partnerships among disparate groups. Make obvious just how much we, have, we all have in common. And I strongly believe enhance the peacemaking process. The United States has a wealth of treasured, intangible cultural heritage that deserves to be appreciated, celebrated, and formally recognized. To raise awareness, to ensure its permanent place in our cultural legacy, and intensify the respect for jazz, its traditions, history, and customs, I would like, as Ambassador Killian said, to propose that jazz music through the very worthy UNESCO program be designated an intangible cultural heritage. With this in mind, one of my primary missions as Goodwill Ambassador will be to lead a campaign for the ratification of the Intangible Heritage Convention with President Obama and the United States Congress. Of great importance to me, and on behalf of the global jazz community, including students, musicians, and educators, I'd like to see, to see historical locations in New Orleans and Dockery Farms in the Mississippi Delta, the birthplace of jazz and the blues, be proclaimed a World Heritage Site.